Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through some steps that you should take when approaching your data analysis projects. So hopefully it will help you to unlock your creativity. So anytime you want to analyze data, don't just take the data and analyze. If you can go through these steps, it open up your understanding of how you can work from problem to solution. So let me say welcome. You're welcome, right? So how do you approach your data project? First, when you get a workplace, when they come to you with a problem, can you ever build their dashboard for this? Can you analyze this data? Ask questions. So start by asking questions. Your project actually seeks to address a business need. Hence, it is important that you understand this need very well. Seek clarity. And you get clarity by asking questions. Just be sure that you understand what they want you to do and what value means for that question. The next is, where's the data? You should take time to check if the data to solve that problem is available or not. And you actually know where to get them before you even conclude that it is doable. So can you give me time to you know, look into the data and be sure that we have all this data? If you have all the knowledge of the data, if you have knowledge about the data, you know it exists. You don't necessarily need to go through this phase. But most times people assume because the problem is interesting, you assume that data is available, you take it off, you make it official. And at the point of execution, just realize the data could not deliver on that project. That is not good for you as a profile. So be sure you go through that properly. And the next is cleaning. You understand the problem. You know the data exists. Do you know the kind of cleaning you need to do to make sure that the data can answer that question? Data will not come on the present claim. So yeah, it will not come. So you need to understand what exactly you need to do. Maybe oh, I will need to transform this data. I need to decode something. Just be sure you know the kind of cleaning you need to do to deliver or to get the work going on. And after that, get answer. That's the point of visualization. That's the point of analysis. So it is finally time to torture the data and get answers to the business questions, which is to understand the what and the why. So you are going back to that question, okay, what do I need to do to answer this one? Oh, these are the things I need to deliver on. Then you analyze and get them. And after that, you take action by engaging the stakeholders. So you need to share this work with your stakeholders Engage them with your recommendation because you are not just visualizing, you have answered that data, answered those questions, you have delivered value. What do they need? What other things do you find out? What other insights did you uncover? Put it there. What are the recommendations? What are the things you will recommend? Oh, I observe this, then you should pay attention to this. Those are the things that can spur conversation and actually move the business forward. As you can see, all these processes and phases, they are wrapped up in a frame called document your project. While you are doing all these two things, you should know how, learn how to document them. So that can, it is replicable. When you are no longer in the team, people can take it up and oh, these are the things you did when you are working on this project. And someone else can actually take it up from there. Now, this is assuming you are in a workplace, you are working. How about you? Who is still building up your profile? You know, you just come across a data, you want to work with it. How, what are the steps you should do for personal projects? So personal projects start with data, not even with with a um, question, nobody is asking you any question, just see data, you download the data, and you want to analyze it. So these are the steps. Number one, find objective. So when you pick up the data, even if it's COVID-19, as simple as your questions might be, make sure you at least have a question. It could be the goal is to explore this data and find out what, 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 or how. Just make sure you find out questions that you can list. Explore the data and look for what problem can be coined from it. Create some business questions so you know you have some questions. Then move on to do your analysis. Then proceed to analyze the data by going through the right process, you know, explore it, what are the transformations you need to do, and all those things, then analyze. And when you are done analyzing, then go make sure you go to GitHub first, you know, and it is time to put that to use and document this project. Document it on GitHub, then now share with your social media network and seek for feedback. After that, they will mention the past feedback that they felt the changes. Now, it is important that many people, when they get to GitHub to um, um, upload their project there, document their project, what they do, they just, they just create a repository and upload the Power BI file, upload the Excel file, or upload the digital notebook. That is not enough. And that is why you need to follow these steps. When you are creating that repository, make sure you add README file. And within that readme file, you can create these topics. Problem statement, state the problem. Next topic, data sourcing, state it. 
next data cleaning what are the transformation steps you took so that we know how you went through it and you clean the data that tells people how technical you are and what are the kind of things you do findings and recommendation document them and you can now upload the, the file you know as an attachment so they see this they, they, you are, they are not just checking your profile and what they see they're just the code no document them in the readme file and that way you are building something really strong and quality for yourself ah enough in do as i trust so let me quickly run you through i might not be able to do full documentation but let me show you how you actually do this on github if i'm going to switch my brother i'm back to github now I've logged in signed into my github this is my profile i'm going to create a new repository on that repository new i'm going to call this let's just call this uh baby step i'm going to call this baby step data da baby step data analysis baby step uh, and the goal is just to show you you know this is how you should document it we continue and build up on this later then make this add a readme file it's important so that you can be able to document do the right documentation make it public because you want people to assess it and easy to fork it and also um clone it and continue to work with it all right this then if there's any license as i should say i'm not sure you have like it's a personal project just want to keep it simple then create repository no i have it interesting isn't it right there you can add a file you can upload file and i'm going to look on my system for a file a power bi file and just upload it either you drag and drop or you just choose file i'm going to go to my here and go to sql i have a folder called sql sql tutorial i can put in microsoft sql adventure works it's just one document i created in the past to demonstrate connecting to adventure or sql database no i'm done do i want to pass any comment that is a um project file i can call this project file that is it then commit changes so right now people can actually see it but that is not enough so you come to edit this readme file and it uses it uses markdown so it's simple and you have to learn this over time how it works but it's really simple so you can come here and say project name you know this way you can edit it then i'm coming down here use if i put this three dot going to draw an horizontal line i come down here and maybe i want to remember what we are talking about one ash means you want to make the title to be very big um um i'm using one ash now and say um projects objective then say problem statement whatever you have put in there then you can come here another session um what let's go back to the slide to see what we put there data sourcing data cleaning findings and findings and recommendations so come back here data sourcing here data transformation here um findings and recommendation all right so as it is by preview you will see how this looks like you see each of those topic you can start adding something there you get so people read through this and they can view the file right here now i can commit and just say um um, um project documentation framework right commit changes you see, so before I even move ahead to check the uploaded document, the readme file says it all. So if I go back here to, yep, this is it. This repository, I can see the readme file. I can read, you can even impute, you can add screenshots of those actual transformation you did or those, the layout of the data, everything. So I can read through this and understand. If I want to now see more, then I can open the read file itself. You see, it's simple, but this, is very good and it's a good step you should take when you are working on projects and not just share screenshots on twitter if you can do this and have screenshot to it on twitter or so or linkedin and people can click on the link also to read this 
is going to be super helpful for your profile. All right, thank you and bye.